So my podcast today, as I stated in the description, um, I'm going to slow down my speech a little so I can pronunciate things clearly. Um, as I stated in the description, is about the cloud photography that I took yesterday on March 26, 2020, where the clouds were unusually definitive and presenting me with all kinds of interesting de- depictions of uh, what form there that I interpreted based on the totality, as I said before, the totality of the clouds presented to me, what they're saying, what is being said through the clouds to me, wh- whether it's God trying to communicate something to me, um, because it's not my just sitting there and inventing things based on an artistic eye. It's actually presenting itself and morphing itself before I even look try to figure out what what it is. I'm saying that I take film rolls of things to show how these things form. And so one thing I'm looking at is something that looks like it's shaping itself into some unusual form. So I, I looked at it for a... I have my coffee table now next to the window, and I took a look at it for a little while, and realized this thing seems to be turning into like an alligator or something. And so it has a long body, you know, it... And, and but it, the most important thing is the face and the um, the snout, and that its jaws are clearly open. And then I could actually see teeth, and then I could see a tongue. And here we go again. You know, it starts forming, and then the next thing I know, it starts opening its eyes. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then one eye, and then two eyes. I'm serious. It's like it came alive as I was looking at it. I'm going, what is this about? And then I looked as it developed, and the, the clouds were kind of like showing a different texture than you, you would normally see in clouds. It looked like it was being carved into some kind of white rock substance. Uh, it didn't look like clouds. After a while, it kind of looked like it was being carved out to me, and especially the face area. And then as I looked to the right, because I wanted to see the totality of what was being communicated to me through this cloud, um, and then it looked to me like something had formed uh, on its lower neck that was riding it. Okay, Questionable, but then that the other depiction of that same development was taken earlier, I noticed, I think earlier, that showed um, something that was on its neck that had... Um, evolved into something else, you know, that you couldn't really see for sure, but I thought that it was riding on its lower neck. So then I, in the uh, the picture the, of its earlier formation over the bay and less to the left of my um, apartment window, I saw what was there before, and I have a picture of that, and that is some kind of depiction of somebody, um, a, f- a form of an arm lift- lifting its, its hand up in the air, uh, like an ancient hand sign or something, with its uh, finger pointed up in the air, kind of like, um, I would relate it with somebody lifting up their hand to play a violin or a viola, kind of eloquently before it, like uh, you saying this is the this is where we're headed or something. Like It was weird. Okay, so then it looked like a female figure to me, but it was kind of like shaped like an overweight female. Uh, and then um, the next thing, I think that that was what was riding the dragon. And then the dragon formed to the left side of my window, you know, through time. So it's kind of like speaking to me in, in these transitions, you know. So they were all part of the same cloud that was moving. And so it started out with this apparent woman with its hand, with her hand uh, pointing up, kind of like eloquently, uh like that, like an someone from ancient times would have done, and she had a um, a hat on, much like in that funeral procession clouds that I did back in December seventh of uh, last year. That that was like a funeral procession that I saw in the sky. Uh, this this same uh, female figure that in the clouds had a similar kind of hat. It looked like foreign, a foreign hat. Like I would think it would look like an Asian kind of hat, you know. So anyway, uh, an Asian's hat. And so then um, the dragon formed uh, about to my left of my window, uh, and I uh, I saw these jaws open, and it, you could see how it formed. It, it immediately looked like a dragon or an alligator's 
jaws or something. And then it formed, and then when the eyes opened, and then I saw two eyes, it was, it. I didn't freak out or anything because I wasn't really conscious of what was going on. I just was taking pictures as I saw it form. I thought, this is an unusual cloud formation. I want to continue to take pictures and see how it looks and changes over time. Um, and so it's like it started opening its eyes. So... What else about that? Okay, is that about it from that? So then it pretty much, after I took the pictures, it, it went away. Let's put it that way. Um, I saw a bunch of other clouds as well. And uh, so I saw that. What was the other thing that I saw? Oh, my gosh, I saw so many different things in these clouds. Um, I'm going to put this in a blog post about the specific dragon and break this down into separate articles for what happened on March 26th because I can't really remember what those other ones were because I'm focused on this dragon thing. Um, I I could s- interpret the dragon as some kind of um, um, I don't know, you could, you could interpret it any way you want. I don't I don't think it's a good sign that we have this this dragon cloud figure uh, hovering over the Bay Area. Um, it could be a sign of coming war I from the east. It could be biblical because the dragon's mentioned in the Bible. Um, the, um, the Lord didn't particularly tell me about it to, to, to me, but clearly it's not a good sign when there's some dragon in the clouds. Oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to say. Um, then, kind of in a comical way of ending this thing, um, about an hour later the sun was setting and I happened to look out the window and I, I saw these these two large forms in front of my building walking across the street on the sidewalk and it, they were two uh, balloon costumes people were walking in together, two of them, and one was a, looked like a dragon you know, with the dragon spines on the back. And, you know, it was kind of humorous. And so I thought, oh, that's really weird because I had already decided that what I took a picture of had been right above where they're walking, right below the area that they stopped at the corner was the area I was taking the pictures from. So there's these people with the uh, the dra- a dragon outfit, a colorful dragon outfit, uh, which was really, I looked later, it's really a unicorn's outfit. Uh, and they're standing right below where I was taking the the, the clouds, you know, were, that were right above where they were. And I thought, that is really strange. And from a Christian's viewpoint, I know the Bible, a lot of the Bible, and that to, for me that could mean that these spiritual entities up there that are forming into these depictions uh, are just mirroring what's, Either the people are mirroring down here, these spirits, mirroring them down here, messing with our minds and souls, that people are doing stuff like that. You know, when our entire nation's on shutdown, people are walking out there with dragons on. You know, so the, whatever these spirits are in the principalities of the air could be affecting people's minds here to do stupid stuff like that. That's what I'm saying, you know, and people are taking it lightly to make it a joke. They're, they're kind of like mocking these supernatural entities up above and taking them lightly that they're affecting their minds to react that way to say, okay, you know, uh, we sense these things going up there subconsciously. They don't know it, you know, and so they're just reflecting what's going on above the Bay Area here, and they're making light of it when it's really dangerous. You know, it's really dangerous to be seeing these things up in the clouds because it's not its not good. That's why Christians like me, when we see these things, we pray the blood of Jesus over the Bay Area to protect the ignorant from what's what whatever this threat is. You know, we, we play, we could, a lot of times Christians do this for people who are ignorant of the world, word, hoping that they'll eventually come to Christ, as I did. You know, I was ignorant for years, and people who have spiritual sights, like Christians, know the danger they're in, but they they prefer to make fun of it and be silly about it on a subconscious level. They don't even know how dangerous this is. Um, And so when you see dragons above the Bay Area, and you're not even trying or wanting to see stuff like that, you know, 
and you're a Christian and you know a lot about the Word of God and you know about spiritual warfare, um, then you know to pray for the blood of Jesus over the San Francisco Bay Area to 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 help the ignorant, uh, protect the ignorant from um, hoping that they can come to Christ and, and be saved before it's too late. So that's what I did. That was my spiritual warfare. And then, you know, I just witness to people about what's going on out there. I, I, have a, I guess I have spiritual sight for these things. I don't know of anyone else who's taking these pictures. But again, I'm not searching for people who are. I don't think that there are people like me who are just sitting here uh, watching the clouds go by <laughs> and taking photos of things I see in them. You know, I can see a lot in the clouds. Um. Then the question is, is this coming from me, though? Is it, does this have anything to do with me? And I say, no, I'm just an observer, and I'm a witness. And for whatever reason, God's given me the ability to do this and put me in this position uh, be, to be the only one that I know of doing this. You know, if, if other people were doing this, I could say, well, I know I'm not the only one who just got that shot. You know, but now because I'm watching it progress over time and taking all these shots to show how it's morphing to tell a story, kind of like animated clouds telling me a story, um, it, it helps for me to um, to put a story together, to witness to others about how dangerous these times are we are living and don't make light of them at all. Don't go buy alcohol and get drunk. I mean, because you could go to hell. Basically, you know, because God is testing us. You know, he can't accept sinners into hell, unrepentant sinners into heaven. Sorry, I didn't mean hell. He can't accept unrepentant souls into heaven. It's just not possible. The only way people get into heaven is through Jesus Christ, who was sent to save us. And his instruction manual is the Word of God, the New Testament, New Covenant, especially. Uh, and so um, he's the only way to life and and uh, redemption. And so we Christians are working to help others get into heaven as well through knowledge of his word and awareness that, that there are other things going on behind the veil of what our eyes see. There's other things going on, and we're in grave danger now. We could have, like I say, the dragon could also be con- construed as the Chinese uh, dragon planning things, the Chinese uh, from across the world planning things to, uh, to send to attack us here. I mean, there's all kinds of things that can be interpreted. Um, Of course, China doesn't like the aggression of of Trump, and maybe they're planning something, you know. They're not sending their ships over here anymore. We're getting their dragons in our clouds, you know. And and I saw uh, a funeral procession of what looked like a foreign people or an ancient people up in the clouds on December 7th of last year, and I understand these are the, the areas of the water on the Barcadero where the Chinese bring in their freight and stuff, the Chinese, uh, you know, bring in their, their goods into our ports and everything. So instead of, um, so I, I see these these things in the air that look like like funeral processions, and I take pictures of them, and then I learned that that was a month after the, the coronavirus started uh, killing people in China, if that's true. That's about a month after. So here I'm seeing this funeral procession coming through the Embarcadero Water Bay area, you know, like I used to watch the ships come in. Um, and so the freight ships come in there, and now we're getting these clouds showing uh, like there's a funeral procession going on in the sky just saying so now i'm seeing dragons here uh that look like typical dragons of the chinese um new year only without the color i mean it's only the the neck and the in the and the face that i saw i didn't see the body but there was a there was a figure riding it i could see but then i looked back in time to the earlier photo and i could see that there was a woman with a hat on uh, with her hand uh, kind of up in the air about to play the violin or something, you know, her right her right hand. <laughs> no, it was a, actually it was the left hand. Looks like she was about to pick up the violin and play it. Anyway, so yeah, that's my podcast for the day. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not drunk. I'm not smoking pot. I don't drink. I haven't drank alcohol in a long time, seven years now. I have no intentions to drink alcohol. Uh, and um, occasionally I have CBD oil, just to relax my nerves. I mean, these are difficult times. So um, 
I'm not hallucinating these things because I, I can take pictures of them and show people how they progress in time, and I can show that these were all taken in my film roll on a certain date, you know, and I haven't done anything to these clouds to manipulate them, except on occasion I use the magnifying glass tool and just to make them larger so people can see them, so... That's my podcast for the day, and uh, I feel a little groggy, uh, and it's hard. It's for all of us to live. I don't know, like I say, how much of this is propaganda of our government and how much is um, how much is real. I don't know. Like I say, I'm going to say I don't know, and I'll do my best to, uh, you know, agree to conform to a certain amount of precaution, but I'm not going to be enslaving myself to a lie either. And we should resist all lies of the devil that wants to turn this into tyranny and hunt us down with drones to take our temperature, things like that. So um, I'm praying and hope all of you stay well and stay out of trouble.